The work being done in order to increase the efficiency of solar cells really falls into two categories, new materials and new structures. The new materials are intended to absorb a greater portion of the solar spectrum. For example, if a material currently absorbs blue light, work is being done to make it absorb red light or to add a second material that might absorb red light. In terms of structures, work is being done in order to help remove the charge from the solar cell in order to supply the electricity to the circuit or to also separate the light into different components, whether it's different colors or to even use the heat so the devices can take advantage of the full solar spectrum. At the present time, the highest efficiency solar cells in the world are typically made of gallium arsenide and germanium, and they've reached efficiencies of over 40%. So the efficiencies have gotten fairly high, and most of the focus of the work being done today is on trying to maintain efficiency or increase efficiency of low-cost solar cells. So in the next question we're going to answer today, we'll talk about ways of trying to increase the affordability of solar cells rather than focusing on the efficiency.